<laughs> Guys, today we're making some snacks. <laughs> Four snacks for you guys today. Five. Five, five, five snacks. snacks. Um, and they all have five ingredients or less. So we're gonna make this quick and easy because we are showing you a lot of things, but they're all really simple. So let's get started. So um, <laughs> I have drained two cans of chickpeas. We are gonna make some crispy chickpeas. Then I got both hot and mild buffalo sauce. I know Paige and I both really like this. Um, we're gonna use the hot one, but know that mild is an option. And this brand is awesome, um, Noble made because it's no sugar added. So they actually sweeten it with pineapple juice. Mm, so um, I'm not really measuring, I'm just gonna pour enough in so that I can coat evenly them. coat all of them. I'm gonna add a smidge of cumin every time. Remember you guys too, if you don't like hot sauce, you can use barbecue sauce, teriyaki, any type of sauce to coat the garbanzo beans. Totally. Um, I'm gonna add in a little bit of nutritional yeast, like a tablespoon. Um, and for a little bit of salt, I'm gonna put in some liquid aminos, again, about a tablespoon. Not much, we don't want it to be too salt. liquidy. Um, and then I'm just gonna give it a quick stir. The oven has been preheating to 400 degrees, and we're gonna pop these in for 15 minutes yeah. until they get keep crispy. Them to, they will pop, so you can just keep checking on them to see if the skin breaks. They'll and if pop? They pop. Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> All right, dump these onto my baking sheet. Just coat them with some black pepper. Pepper. Added spice, and in they go. All right, so while Michelle's finishing up her garbanzo beans, I'm gonna show you guys how to make some at-home popcorn. popcorn. People always think you have to go to go to the movies or buy it in a pre-made package. You do not. And so, I've never done this before, which is crazy, so I'm really excited. It's really good. Um, so Michelle went to the store. Did you go to Sprouts? Today? I, yep, at Sprouts you can buy popcorn kernels in bulk. Yeah, so it's her so, cute little reusable bag yeah. that she brought to the store. You guys should definitely do that. Um, and I'm gonna do one cup of popcorn kernels is going to make a lot um, It is very similar to uh, like quinoa or lentils it expands So it's gonna take up more room when they pop so be mindful of that So finally our little guy popped. I'm gonna move him around so he doesn't get burnt Ooh. We're gonna add in a little bit of veggie broth. Here. I'll show you guys. Yeah, Popped. you can eat it. No, nope, we know it's ready now oh. So since it's ready, it's gonna sizzle and that's okay. There's really not much in there. No, nope, a little tiny bit, probably like two tablespoons if that. It, it evaporate, or evaporates, yeah, yeah, really fast. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna pour in our kernels, but we have to be quick because it will start to pop after. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of liquid aminos. Stir it on up. Thank you, Michelle. Um, my brain is not functioning today, so Michelle is helping me out a lot. <laughs> and we all need snacks. <laughs> a little bit of turmeric. I feel like we need maybe a little more veggie broth because okay. it's, it's kind of gone. Like, and I remember we gotta be quick. Go. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then also some nutritional yeast. Yes. Now. Yep. Okay. Put it all in. So the thing about homemade popcorn is you gotta get all the flavor you want in there now because once it starts to pop, it will stick to it. Everything evenly coated. Love it. So then, as you guys know, popcorn, it gets bigger, turns white. Once that starts to happen, we're gonna add a little bit more because it's gonna open up and that flavor will still be there, but it's not gonna be like fully stuck on. Um, I do have a spray bottle at my house, so I would recommend using that. Okay, so we'll put in some liquid aminos. And some veggie broth. Um, you can also, Chase likes to use this combination in a spray bottle on his uh, avocado toast. Oh. Just like, tss, and then he puts like all this seasonings on top. So, cool. So I just calmed down the, um, saltiness with the veggie broth a little bit so that way it's just not you know a crap ton of soy sauce going on there or the caminos. so now we do what we did with the little guy and we wait but it should be very soon 
Um, I would also recommend getting a pot that you can hold like this because once it starts to pop, we're gonna wanna shake it so all of it gets even and doesn't burn. Cool. So, yeah. Fine. Right. Let's make some bean dip so that we can start eating it. Cool. Oh, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna add in some kidney beans into my pot. You can also use chili beans. This is uh, Chef Kayla's recipe. It's literally so easy. And she pulled it out when Paige's family, or no, when her family was in yeah. town. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my God, how long did this take you to make? This is amazing. And it's literally like two ingredients. So a can of chili beans, kidney beans, whatever you like. Um, one container of just original plain hummus. And you can stop there. <laughs> That's literally all she did and it was amazing. I'm gonna add a few more things into this um, just to be fancy. <laughs> uh, because I don't have any chili beans in chili sauce, I'm gonna add chili powder. And because <laughs> nooch is life, <laughs> I'm gonna put in some nutritional yeast. Not very much though, because I really don't want it to be dry. And I'm also gonna add in just a splash of liquid aminos. And that's it, mix it up together, uh, keep it on medium to low heat until it's warm, and eat it with chips, with crudite, some veggies, whatever you like. Yum. So easy, so good. So another quick and easy bean dip, because we love beans. Um, I'm gonna take a can of black beans with the lid. You guys definitely wanna blend that up. Get some uh, metal. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't do that. Ooh, we're popping over here. Ooh, yeah. Guys, we're popping. Okay, good, great. Sorry. It's okay. I get hyped about it too. So, yes, okay, great. I mean, it's your pot, so you knew not to burn yourself. Yep. Yeah. Do, you... do I need to shake it? Or... Yeah, yep. So then it gets even. There we go. Good. All right, so um, Michelle's doing that. One can of black beans, about a tablespoon of garlic tahini. You can use regular tahini if you want and add garlic. I just like to buy it with it already in it. Mm -hmm. Use one of these cute little. Oh, yum, tahini. And then I'm gonna squeeze one lemon in there and then a little bit of liquid amino. So four ingredients. All right, guys, I'm going to transfer my bean dip into a bowl and chow down. Ooh, she's a poppin'. Now the popcorn. Mmm, that smells so good, that tahini and lemon juice. Mm -hmm. It's a good combo. So let's refresh them again. What's in there? Uh, this is hummus, um, chili beans, some chili spice, and nutritional yeast. Yes. Yum. Mm -hmm. And I have one can of black beans, one tablespoon of garlic tahini, one whole uh, lemon, just the juice, and a little bit of liquid aminos, and I'm gonna blend it up. Blend, blend, blend. Popcorn's a poppin'. Look at all these snacks. You can't have this bean dog. Bean dog, bean dog. <laughs> can't have this bean dog. <laughs> we need some chips to test it out. Maybe a chip that won't break. Here we go. done they're still you can see they're still pretty wet so we'll keep that going Great. so this I like to have it with like a fresh veggie um it's like I don't know how to explain it really it's pasty like beans so if you do a dollop of this on top of a cucumber like sesame seeds or something it tastes really good it could be a really good appetizer too so I got this mm. <laughs> I'm gonna chop up and that's how I'm gonna eat it so, yay. Now we're moving on to some date balls. I have my food processor here. 
I've got my little jar of dates and I always kind of give them a squeeze to make sure that there aren't any pit fragments in there because they're just really, really hard and you don't want that to mess up your blades. So about two cups worth just so that there's enough for both of us. All right, so some dates in there. <clears throat> um, I'm also gonna add some chocolate chips. These chocolate chips are amazing. They're Enjoy Life from Sprouts. Um, the ingredients are unsweetened chocolate and cane sugar. So there is some sugar in here. Don't go ham, but it's literally two ingredients. There's no oils in it, no dairy. Yum. So I'm gonna put a small handful. And then pop that on. I am also gonna add a little cocoa powder because we're doing some chocolatey stuff today, guys. <laughs> Can't do snacks without having something chocolatey. And then I really like pistachios, but you can add in any other kind of nut that you like. I don't wanna to add too much. And then I also have some shredded coconut that will coat the outside of our date balls in when it's done. There we go. You might need to add some liquid though if you're doing this in a blender, but um, I'm just gonna pulse this until starts to break up. Dates are pretty hardy, so it does take quite a bit to pulverize them. I'm gonna add in just a little bit of almond milk so that everything gets a little bit soft, um, a little bit moist. And what you want is all the ingredients are starting to make one big cluster within the food processor. That's how you know you're almost ready or that you are ready. made like one big date ball cluster and I'm going to just get out a little bowl here for my coconut so that we can make our little date balls and then roll them around in the coconut, shredded coconut. This is unsweetened. Make sure that you guys are buying unsweetened. So I'll just make some little balls them together and then I'll toss them in our coconut and there we go. Yum. <laughs> I'm not even sorry. It's so good. So our popcorn is complete. Um, I let it cook for probably 10 minutes. Um, remember, I turned the heat down. There's a couple burnt pieces. There's a couple burnt pieces <laughs> because I left it. I, we, we were, I wasn't babysitting it because I was making the bean dip. But um, it doesn't taste burnt. It's really good. Um, but after I turned it off, I made sure it stopped popping first because if you take the lid off, it will continue to pop in your face. So remember that. Um, then I sprayed it with some. <laughs> oh, you did spray it with some more? Yep, that's how this is sticking. Gotcha. Yep. So get all the like cheesy pieces. Um, I mean, you can have it really cheesy if you want. I like the little surprise, like when I'm at the movies, to have like some dry and then like, ooh, that was really cheesy. That's good. So you can make it as cheesy as you want. But remember, it may get soggy the more liquid you put on it. So please be mindful of that. Um, other than that, yep. Yeah. It's just good at home popcorn that so you can make good. for your kids while you guys watch a movie, date night, whatever. There is some burnt food on the bottom, but everything on the top is good. Um, it's a little bit more firm and less fluffy than like your average popcorn. Yep. That's Remember, we're nice. not using butter, so it's not going to be like Buttered popcorn. light and fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you can add anything you want. Um, Chase really likes smoked paprika on his. Um, yeah, any, anything. Yay! Guys, that took us maybe an hour. Yeah. Honestly, the longest thing that took to cook were the chickpeas. They were in there for probably half an hour. So, mm -hmm. um, and we started with those. So that was like half an hour. Yeah. And it was, um, they just came out. The only piece of advice I would give is the popcorn. Don't make other things because you want to babysit it so it doesn't burn. Again, the bottom of it burned, but the top is still really good. Um, let's see. We did, for the bean dip, we did bread. Some bread. Michelle had in bean here. Bean dip, so fridge. good. Or you can do like tortillas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, 
And then the date balls turn out so good with the coconut on them. Oh my god, they're they are. They look like the ones you can buy from Sprouts. Yeah, which are like ten dollars money, like twelve dollars <laughs> for a little container for this many. So um, yeah. I'll be now selling these. Yep, if you guys right. would like to buy them, they'll be three hundred dollars. <laughs> Casual. So don't forget, you can take these with you to work. If you have some reusable um, snack bags, you can put all of this yeah. stuff, except for the bean dips, you can put them in reusable little containers like this, put a little lid on it, and take it to work. So then all of your sweet tooth, your savory, all of it is satisfied. Yeah, all your work. The date balls are perfect to have around the holidays. Ooh. Instead of like cookies. having cookies or caramels, like these are just as good. They're yeah. just as sweet and delicious and yummy and easy so Simple. easy that's what we love you guys so we hope you guys enjoyed um please like and subscribe <laughs> share with your friends um because we know everyone would enjoy these so yeah yeah see you guys thanks for watching see you next week Thank you.